Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So today's video I'm using some new acrylics from Ugly Duckling. Uh, you can get these off the Court You Looking website. I'll also be using my new acrylic brush. It's a size 10, absolutely gorgeous, loving using this already. And I'll also be using some clear acrylic to cap the design. So let's get started. On this nail, I'm going in with this gorgeous nude colour that is 124 and the application is lovely. Obviously, I'm working thin because I'm going to be capping them, but look how smooth that goes on. Absolutely lovely. And I really like the colour. It's so, you know, ne neutral tone, really. So I'm just doing an ombre on this nail and in a tick, I'll be going in with 032. This is another nude but look at the shimmer in that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just have that as a whole set of nails, to be honest, I absolutely love it. And on to the next nail. So I'm going in now with 032. These two colors, um, I bought a collection it was more just like, you know, to try the acrylics and things. I've not used theirs before and it's called Vintage Elegance. So I have done a little video, little unboxing video on this. So I'll pop that up at a later date and you'll be able to see the rest, you know, the rest of the collection. The colours are really nice in it. As you know, with these colours, because they're not core powders, they need capping anyway. I do like to wear quite thin, but with them that you know some have got the sparkles in they can look a little bit transparent so the way I like to do it is I'll put a thin layer on as I've done there and then I'll go over it just let it dry off a little bit go over it and then you can see it's a little bit more opaque so that that's how you know I like to work with the sparkle acrylic Gosh, I absolutely love this one. Uh, I never said it before, but I'm definitely going to do myself a set in that. Uh, right, on to the next one. So I'm going back in with the 124. Now, this one, I'm just going to bring over to the side, you know, just on a little bit of a slant. And then on the top part, I'll be adding some glitter. I'm going to use some Bedazzled from Nail Sugar. So I'm applying this just on the wet brush because uh, the nail's still, you know, a little bit wet to adhere to. But if it starts drying out, then I will sort of dip in, you know, just a little bead of clear acrylic. So I'll just keep adding this, you know, little bits at a time uh, till I'm happy with the coverage and then I can pop it to one side and go on to the next nail. And this one is another ombre. As you can see, I've already done most of this. I, don't, I, don't, I, f I just find it's probably going to get a bit boring for you when I'm doing the same design. So I don't like being too repetitive. So that's that one done. And now on to the next one. Which is, you've guessed it, it's another ombre. But I've left this one in for you. So I'll carry on doing that. And I'll just let you have a little look. But I do show you how I'm going to cap that one. I'll just show you one of those. But how gorgeous do, do these colours blend together? I'm really happy with the uh, acrylics I've got so far. Uh, they're so nice to work with. And as I say, the way they blend in with each other, yeah, they're really beautiful. So, yeah, I think I'll be uh, putting a little order in for some more. And now that's complete, I'll just encapsulate that with the clear acrylic from Ugly Duckling. And don't forget, I do only work thin, you know, because I'm just working on tips. So if I was working on a client, I'd build the apex up 
but this is purely just to protect the uh, design while I'm filing. And also it keeps the filing a little bit easier for me. And if I'm honest, I don't like wasting all the product just on the tip, so that's another reason. So um, yeah, I'll uh, just finish this one off and then we're gonna go back to the glitter nail. So when I went back to this one, I don't, I don't know if it was just because there was so much glitter on the top, I just decided to go in again with the 032 just to, well, for, might as well have a little bit more sparkle on it. And now I'm going back to the full glitter nail. I've popped a little embellishment on and I've just got a little bit of clear acrylic. I'm going to place a stone on there. The reason I put this on like this, because I'm going to do a 3D flower, I just feel it gives me a little outline of where I want the petals to go. I just think it looks a little bit neater, you know, the finished result. As you can see, I'm just putting a small bead of white acrylic. Uh, I don't want these petals too small, so it's just judging really what size bead you pick up. And I'm gonna put one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I'll just, you know, work around them. So coming in with the next bead, just placing that there, pulling it out a little. Now, I feel like that's not quite big enough, so while it's wet, it's fine just to add a little bit more if you don't feel you've quite got enough on. So once I've left it to set, just for, about 30 seconds or so, you can, you can see it when it's starting to polymerize anyway. And then I just take the belly of the brush, as you can see, and I tend to flatten the middle and then come out to the side. And I'll just carry on with this process until I've got all the petals in place. So I'll let you carry on watching this for a little bit and I'll see you soon. Now I'm just going in with the final petal on this side and then once I've finished that, I'll do the rest off camera so you'll see the finished result in just a moment. There we go. And I'm gonna put some more crystals so I'll use the Nail Chemi Totalus and my Crystal Picker Upper from Ugly Duckling. Now onto this nail, I'm going to put quite a lot of crystals but I want them sort of, you know, in the shape of the nail bed showing. So more like, um, more like half triangle shape I think, I'm not that good with those. So I've put the Totalus on and now I'm just going to start applying the crystals. Initially, I'm going to get that shape where it's, you know, a bit pointy on the top and then coming down, as I say, just to give it a bit of a nail bed shape. I hope some of that made some sense, so I don't know if I explained that properly, but the more crystals I'm applying, you'll see what I mean. At the moment it looks a little bit too rounded so there you can see I've just jiggled them about a little bit and now that's the shape I want and I've gone in with a little kite crystal 
just to give it you know that um accentuate yeah the point and i'm just going to carry on filling it where i think it needs the crystals to go and just until i think you know it looks quite pretty I absolutely love this totalus because it doesn't set so I can play around with positioning for as long as I like um, until it goes into the lamp and cures then you know I've got full control over them so there that's finished I'm happy with that one so I'm going in with the top coat and again you can butt right up to the crystals but please don't go over them because you'll just lose all your shine and I'm going to go into that area there, that's where the totalus is, so obviously that needs a nice top coat as well. Now I uh, repeated the process on the other nail, did them slightly different and that's the design complete. Now on the flower nail I did some freehand uh, with my new gel paint from Ugly Duckling, so I hope you really like that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you could leave me some likes, comments, subscribe and hit the bell, all those things again, uh, that would be absolutely lovely. I really appreciate all your support. So yeah, hope you all take care of yourselves. Have a good week and see you next time. Bye.